Do you have or know people who suffer from the frequency of these symptoms, abdominal pain, diarrhea and constipation? These symptoms can confuse doctors and patients because they can be viruses, menstrual cramps and intestinal infection. They can be poor diet and they can also be irritable bowel syndrome. It's a pleasure to be here making this video with you and I'm starting to asking for you subscribing our channel, click on the bell to activate notifications, leave your like and send this video to everyone who you love. Okay, and did you know what is the IBS? Well, is one of the most common gastrointestinal disorders. And uh, furthermore, the person uh, may have a large production of gases, generation exaggerated, and uh, the feeling in incomplete emptying of the intestine. The person poops, but it seems like not everything comes out. According to experts, there is no single determining factor that causes the disease, which can be responsible to an organic emotional cause. These abnormal bowel movements can happen after eating fat foods, uh, fast food, or fat food, I'm sorry, or in response to stress or psych psychological changes. Irritable bowel syndrome can appear after person has experienced infection and uh, inflammatory process. Other causes are depression and anxiety. I have already said in several lives and videos in my uh, on my channel, uh, my channel in Brazil, that the intestine is called the second brain. It has an autonomous nervous system which does not need the command of another organ to to function through neural networks. Our intestine is sensitive to all types of emotions and stress. And uh, the type of diet you have also influence um, in your intestine. So to alleviate the symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome, some foods should be avoided, such as garbage, cauliflower, sweet potatoes, beans, among others that produce a lot of gas. And a good tip is to make a list of foods that may be associated with the, the onset of cries and avoid them. Adopt a lower fat diet. Eat plenty of fiber in case of constipation, in addition to adequate other intake. Avoid drinking alcoholic beverages and those containing caffeine. Alcohol harms the intestinal microbiota and caffeine further stimulate, stimulate uh, the, 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 the need to go to the bathroom. Try not to consume sweets because of the sugar and dyes, two substances that are not good for the microbiota. And since the intestine has a relationship with our emotions, including stress, uh, maintain a daily physical exercise program to, to release cortisol accumulation. In addition, the abdominals end up messaging the intestine. And don't neglect the benefits that psychotherapy and other therapeutic techniques, such as yoga and relaxation, for example, uh, everything of this can bring to people with, with this syndrome. This is important information, especially for women. This syndrome affects you twice as often as men. And why would that be? Some studies show that ovarian hormones such as estrogen and progesterone affect intestinal, intestinal uh, uh, motility slowing it down, in addition to interfering with the sensitive of the gastrointestinal tract. While in the male population, there is a predominance of this disease with diarrhea among women, there are more reports of constipation symptoms. Another factor is women's greater response to stress, anxiety, depression, and somatization. In addition to the prevalence of comorbidities associated with chronic pain, often associated with the syndrome, such as fibromyalgia, 
chronic fatigue syndrome, uh, chronic pelvic pain and migraines, which suggests an association with hormone status. It is possible to treat and never have symptoms again, as long as you pay attention to all these cause and it is also possible to uh, alleviate the symptoms and for this a uh, diagnosis must be made which is based on the symptoms but if there are no relevant signs colonoscopy it is necessary to exclude other possibilities of disease such as such as lactose intolerance salic disease Lax laxative abuse, para parasitic disease, among others. And uh, you could ask me, can irritable bowel syndrome turn into cancer? It is not malignant, does not cause any type of damage to the intestine and does not progress to col colorectal cancer or other more serious pathologies related to the intestine. But uh, I have to, to tell you some natural treatment can be used for you. The first one, chamomile tea. It's a good uh, med natural medicine for you. Two, prebiotics like psyllium is a kind of fiber. And three, probiotics that you have in all, probably you have in your country to buy in any one uh, drugstore. Okay, thank you very much for being with me. Uh, at the end of this video and um, thank you for all have a nice week kisses for you